Lord Shiva, more commonly known today as the God of Destruction. He is one of the three major deities in the Hindu mythology. Now, compared to other gods of his time, he was by far the most laid back. I mean, he didn't care who worshipped him. He smoked pot. He would have smoked almost anything you gave him. He was a teacher of the arts, dancer, vocalist, yoga instructor, and he created the universe. Damn. For God with over 10,000 names, yeah, I'm sure he did quite a lot. But it did sound like I was talking about a real person for a second, right? No. I'm going to get serious, folks. Even though I have been serious from the beginning, especially the part about creating the universe, what a lot of people don't know is that there are ancient technologies, formulas, equations, many of which are embedded in Hindu mythology, and much of particle physics is the result of these findings. It has everything to do with the representation of Shiva at CERN, the Nataraja, the form of Shiva in dance pose, the dance of creation, the dance of destruction. Everyone pay attention because this is important. It is not my job to convince you that CERN is trying to open portals for Satan the devil. I am here to briefly explain what's really going on. Not to talk about them opening portals for demons to come out and all hell breaks loose. I'm sick of it. Satan doesn't need a portal. He doesn't need some man-made electric nuclear tunnel doorway to get through. He's here. They're all here. They don't need us to make them portals. They don't need us. Satan doesn't need us. He doesn't. That's the whole point of all this. These people behind CERN don't give a fuck about Satan. They want to be Satan. Do you understand? The theory is that in order to create a massive amount of new energy or mass, you need to first destroy a small amount of energy that already exists. Are you with me so far? Now, this destruction, this explosion of just two tiny little particles spews out an array of subatomic particles that just go everywhere. Luckily, they are able to contain the explosions and keep the particles in containment. Wrong. Some of these particles are escaping. So this dance of destruction is not a satanic ritual, you jackasses. And I say that with love. It is demonic. Absolutely. It is demonic in the sense that it is pure evil to put money and power before human life. They don't care about who suffers from this. They only care about their agenda. Truth is stranger than fiction. And if you get up, caught up in this satanic ritual portal talk, it's all interesting, but it's gonna just confuse you again. They're trying to open portals for Satan to come out. Satan, man. They're, he's gonna come out with his army of demons, man. And they're gonna take over the whole goddamn world, man. Seriously, folks, this dance of destruction or destruction or recreation, the destruction of particles to create new particles, the symmetry, the balance, the half male, half female representation of Shiva, the dance is a formula. They want the ability to create and destroy and want Shiva's power. They want God's power. Opening portals is easy once you can control and manipulate matter with the touch of a button. Maybe they are opening portals. Who knows? 
But instead of thinking about the demons that might come out of one of these things, maybe you should think about the human demons that are making it possible.